Pow, and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. My name is, of course, Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram. Today, we have come to the climax of this brand new Cull Obsidian Marvel Legends Builder Figure Wave, as as you can see in front of me, are all of the pieces you actually need to build Cull Obsidian himself. Now, I say new, it depends when you're watching this video, but still, you get my point. I have yet to build Cull Obsidian, so you are here with me, gonna experience what he looks like when he's put together. Very much looking forward to adding another member to the Black Order. Fingers crossed, Hasbro do still announce a Corvus Glaive and Ebony Moth so we can complete all four members of the Black Order that helped Thanos on his quest for the Infinity Stones. But to get all of these pieces to build your very own Cull Obsidian, you need to buy every figure in this wave, including Thor, Black Widow, Ant-Man, Wasp, Malekith, and Black Knight. Each one of those figures comes with a different piece you need to build Cull Obsidian. So uh, I brought the whole wave. I've reviewed them all. Go and check out the playlist. Now let's put them together, shall we? Now, I always mess this up on camera when I try and do it, but hopefully it's simple. There's six pieces, two arms, two legs, body and a head. Usually, because I'm watching this in the camera screen, I get this wrong. And I always have people commenting me, you've put it in the wrong hole. That is not something you hear my girlfriend say in your windows. Now, um, now we've just got the legs. So they should say left and right on them. They do, left. Now, there's probably someone screaming at the camera. You're putting it on the wrong way. I do apologise. I guarantee this... Once he's built, he's not even going to fit in frame. Okay. It sort of looks like the legs might be on the wrong way. Typical. A little toe's meant to be in the middle. Maybe. See, I told you he's not even in frame. Let's pull this camera back. He's a beast, people. He's a beast. You can even see my lights. Let me move my lights. Call Obsidian. I had to literally move my camera about a foot back to fit him in. He is massive. Much bigger than I thought it was going to be. And uh, can he hold his weapon? He has one hand that looks like it can hold this weapon. Now, this weapon is a very thick plastic, I must mention. So, um, yeah, there he goes. Holds that. His arm is on his arm, obviously. I hope there's a peg that goes in. There you go. Now, for now, <laughs> definitely those legs are in the wrong way around. I knew it. I knew it, people. Right, but for now, that is a good first impression of Cull Obsidian. Now I'm going to cut the camera and make sure everything's in the right place and swap those bloody legs. So there he is in all his glory. I've switched the legs. I did have them on wrong originally, as I always do. But there he is looking very, very impressive. Now I just want to show you size. Just under nine inches tall. I don't know if you can see that that well on the camera. But yeah, just under nine inches tall. And um, he is very, very impressive. I will compare him to some figures in a minute, but I have the wave next to me, so I'll just throw in Ant-Man. Just a size comparison. And as you can see, Ant-Man stands at about his chest. So he's going to look very menacing amongst your Marvel Legends on the shelf. Now, uh, I really like his weapon. Customizers go crazy um, because it would have been really good if like this top part of the weapon popped out and it was a chain. Um, so I suppose you could cut this in half and attach this half to that half with a chain and give you a bit more posing options. I think that would be really good. So if I can manage to track down another one of these weapons, maybe I'll try that because I think that would look really, really good having this part attached to this part with an actual chain. Um, but it fits in, I think it will fit in both hands um, if you, warm the uh, hand up a little bit and separate those fingers but it does fit very snugly into this hand and as i said it's a very solid piece he can hold it any way you want it's probably as i said it's too tall for the camera but you can hold it any way he wants it and he's not going to fall so um i really like that element of it uh, there's lots of sculpted detail articulation is very good for a big figure like you'd expect double double jointed knees that go about that far back hands don't really go 90 but they're okay for a big figure um this piece comes off separately like it's got a peg there so if you didn't want that you could take that away on the back he's got like his arm um, and sort of attached to his bones which i quite like the idea of this is a separate piece as well and um, i don't think it has uh no, it doesn't have, so you could, if, again, you could cut this off if you wanted to see your Cull Obsidian naked or customizers. but other than that, that is a separate sort of skirt piece attached for his armour. 
So let me put this back on. And as I said, there's a peg there at the back and a peg there on his chest. And it's a little bit loose. Maybe I'll get some glue to make that sure that stays in properly. And yeah, I know a lot of people saying this isn't 100% accurate to the movie. I know it's not, but it's still a decent representation of the character. Like, you know who it is. It's not like because he's not wearing his proper suit from the movie, you're going to go, who's that character? He's obviously called Obsidian. The face sculpt's really good. Uh, the paint detail's decent enough for a builder figure. They did attempt to put some different shades of green on there. And I'll pick up the camera and do a closer look um, in a second, just so you can see the sculpted detail and definitely the face sculpt because I really like it. Um, he's just meant to be a big brute. He doesn't really speak much in the film, does he? He's just basically the Black Order's muscle. So, um, yeah, let me take the camera off this tripod. Tripod? Tripod. And uh, just show you a close-up of that head. Because I think that head's really good. Really good sculpt. If it will bloody focus for me. Go on, focus. There we go. So, decent face sculpt, I really think. They did a decent job. I know it's just beady eyes, but I still like it. The rest of the figure, sorry, the camera won't focus very well. The rest of the figure, very good sculpt work. Just, they could have probably done a little bit more paint. I would have loved that metallic to be a little bit more gun metal or maybe some uh, darker shades of dry brushing. But uh, again, if you wanted to customize it yourself, you can. But um, I think they've done a really good job. So here's Cold Obsidian compared to the only other member from the Black Order that Hasbro has given us so far with Proxima Midnight. Now, I know everybody is hoping that we get Corvus Glaive, Ebony Moth in a two-pack or something revealed at San Diego Comic-Con. Surely they can't just give us two of the set. Surely not. Hasbro are usually quite good at filling out sets. It just They just take their time. So, um... Fingers crossed that they do sort us out. But these two look great together. They walk up to the gates of Wakanda like this. They look really good. They scale really well together. So really happy with the, how these two look. Really, really want the other two members as well. So you can recreate some of those iconic scenes from the film. Now let's bring in Thanos just to show you how much of a beast Cold Obsidian is compared to Thanos. So there's Thanos. And as you can see, sorry, I dropped someone. Uh, but as you can see there, he is shorter than Cull Obsidian, as he is in the film. And uh, yeah, we're even getting a new Thanos. That that Infinity War 3 pack from the 10-year anniversary line is giving us a new Thanos with different face sculpts and then an opened-palmed uh, Infinity Gauntlet. But there you go. So let's bring in some Avengers that, of course, that of course have had a fight on the streets of New York. So we've got the Mark 50 Iron Man, as you can see, just comes up to about his waist. And then, of course, Spider-Man in his normal tech suit. And these two have a decent fight on uh, the streets of New York. So they scale really, really, really well. So again, imagine this having a chain on it and you could wrap the chain around the figures and then get some web and like have them pose battling. And then that SH figure arts nano version, nano weapons version of Iron Man looks so good. I was so disappointed that in that free pack that Hasbro give us, they give us an Iron Man. Yes, it has a light up chest that no one asked for. I appreciate them trying something new, but please give us some cool accessories. Iron Man has so many cool, unique features in the uh, Infinity War film. I would have loved to have some of those features to set this armor apart from the rest of the Iron Man on the shelf. So a little bit disappointed Hasbro haven't given us that so far. Maybe they will. If not, I might just have to sell a kidney and buy some of those SH figure arts. But I'm talking about Call Obsidian today, and I'm very, very impressed. Very happy with this builder figure, as I knew I would. So let's bring in the rest of the MCU figures from this wave. There we go. Four. Black Widow. Let's put Black Widow there so I have room for the rest of the crew. Of course, Scott Lang, Ant-Man. Really like that Ant-Man, by the way. Then we got Wasp. And I did have, I told you I need to get a flight stand for her. But until then, she can just stand in the background. Again, really like those unmasked heads we got as well with these characters. Hopefully she stands there for a minute. And then the two comic book characters we got were, again, like I was surprised at how much I actually liked them. Malekith and Black Knight. They both stand out from the crowd as well. So I hope all of these are fitting on screen right now. Um, you can't see them all, but yeah. Wasp, Wasp Ant-Man, Black Widow, Cull Obsidian, Thor, Black Knight, Malekith, great wave i knew the infinity war wave would wash over everybody and everybody would want and jump on the mcu hype um i've been on it 
since day one. People love the MCU figures. Very, very happy with this wave. Very happy with the Builder figure, even though he may not be 100% screen accurate. It's obviously Cull Obsidian, the Dark Dwarf, I think he was originally called in the comics, but still. Great wave. You let me know in the comments what do you think as I'm rambling about this wave. But again, very, very happy with this wave. You let me know, did you skip this wave? Did you only buy a couple of figures? What's your favourite? What don't you like? Really interested to read your comments below. And I do reply to all the comments. I only get a couple of hundred views, can't I? Don't know, so I, I can reply, can't I? Just get, send me a little message. I can say hello. And uh, But yeah, please, please, please check out the playlist. I've reviewed every figure on the table. Much, much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button. And I shall see you on the next one.